I'm Carolyn and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy guacamole. So first thing we're going to do, we already washed our avocados, they're nice and ripe, but not too ripe, just a little give on them and we're just going to slice them right around. And we're going to just turn it and to get rid of the seed a lot of times I'll just hit it with the knife, pops it out, and then we're just going to score that avocado. If you're uncomfortable using a knife this size, you can get a smaller one. And go ahead and, go ahead and then just scoop out that flesh using a spoon. So I made crisscross marks on it. Now, if you're not going to serve your avocado for a while, your guacamole for a while, you might save one of the seeds and just um, put it in your guacamole. They say that helps with it uh, not turning brown. I won't be doing that today, but it's just a little trick, they say. Of course, we're going to be adding lime juice as well, so we, don't, we shouldn't have to worry about it. nice that you know you can use every drop of the avocado really when it's perfectly ripe. See how empty they are. So I'm gonna I was planning on doing three but maybe you know what I'm gonna stick with two for now because um, that my bowl seems pretty full already. So let's take a plum tomato and I'm going to scoop out the seeds. Well, really, there's not too many seeds here. I'm just going to scoop out that little bit of seed there. Okay, this one has more. Let's see if it's underneath this flesh. Yeah. Just to keep it dry. Okay. Or you could use the whole tomato. Usually I'll just use the whole, but um, if you want your guacamole a little drier, it might be better to get rid of some of that juice of the, the seeds. So I'm just going to slice that and make these into little tiny pieces. So I'm just going to cross. Watch your fingers. If you want them a little smaller, you can just do a little chop in there. Make sure you got it all. Little small, tiny pieces, and we can add that right to our tomato, our avocado. Okay, so I think, whoops, we got a piece here that didn't get cut. Okay, so we can push that off to the side. I think one tomato is plenty for that. And I have a slice of red onion I just chopped up very small, like a little minced. Gonna add that. And I have one finely minced piece of garlic. Now this is optional. If you don't have garlic or you think you would rather have it a little milder, you can try garlic powder. Some fresh cilantro, again, um, that's optional as well. If you have dry, that's fine too, or you can just skip it. And then we have a lime. We're going to add that. Just cut that in half. It's a little bit dry. There we go. So we're going to just juice that real fast. any seeds on that side.
Now some people do add a jalapeno to theirs. I'm going to not do that today or you could even just do a half a jalapeno. So I'm going to do the whole lime juice right in there. Okay. And like I said, you could use garlic powder instead of the garlic. And today I'm going to add a little cumin. Now that's optional as well. I'm just going to do a little half a teaspoon. I've been into cumin lately. All right, so now we just take, let's move this out of the way. Oh, our salt. We can forget our salt. And of course, if you don't have the shaker, you can, any salt will do, and a little pepper. And you see how quick this is. It's an easy recipe that you can make any time. Let's move this off to the side. I think we need just a little bit more pepper. Okay. So, now let's mix that up. This is a little small. And let's just mash some of that avocado with our fork. I'm taking the tines of our fork and just mashing it down a little. It's nice to have it a little chunky. You can even mash it against the side. Usually I probably would dump this into a little bigger bowl. But it's okay to have it a little, like I said, chunky. Ooh. And we're just about done here. We'll just mix that in there. Keep. And you make it the texture that you're comfortable with. If you really want it mashed more, you could even mash those avocados before you add the rest of your ingredients. But I like them a little chunky, to tell you the truth. I think it's a little better. Just about there. That looks pretty delicious. Let's see if we have anything on our cutting board to add in there. That looks great. And then we would serve that with some corn chips. I some blue corn chips. So we just serve them right with them. And we have some delicious guacamole fresh made. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like our video, you can like our page. If you'd like to find more videos, you can look on our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. Thanks so much and have a blessed day.